is Sarah Shepard. I'm from Stewart, Iowa. I have a purebred Charlet cow calf herd, and I have corn and soybean row crop operation. Annie's project through Iowa State University Extension is just one example of the wonderful programming that the Extension provides. I think that the Extension is one of the most important tools that the rural communities, rural farmers, and um, women have um, right here in our communities. Uh, the programming that they provide is invaluable and there, there's, nothing, there's nothing comparable, there's nothing like it. It's put me in touch with a lot of great people and a lot of great resources. I knew that uh, just being in agriculture, it, you surround yourself by, by wonderful people. Um, and, and there are immense amount of resources out there to help farmers and to help young farmers. Getting connected with those is, is another thing. Annie's project what, what, through Iowa State University Extension was a great way to do that. Um, it gave me a whole list of resources and people that I can call who I've now personally met um, that can answer my questions throughout the farming operation. It's put me in touch with um, Extension staff who, if they don't have the answer, can put me in touch with the right person that has the answer. Um, and it has given me a network of um, local fellow women farmers who, who, also, um, who also are in, in the same boat I am. There was a land auction that took place um, just in, the land was in the same section as uh, the farm that I grew up on and um, another family bought it, but they didn't want the house on the, on the property. And my dad uh, told me about the opportunity and he was thinking about um, potentially moving it and I said, wait a minute, <laughs> dad, what about me? <laughs> I had been looking for um, a house or somewhere to locate and so um, almost two years later, a little over two years later now, um, I have moved a house a mile and have been working on the construction of a house and am thrilled to be back living in the community that I grew up, surrounded by extended family, surrounded by a close-knit um, community and friends and having that support as well as taking on a great adventure in the farming, my new business and in my house project. <laughs> Annie's project gave me the opportunity to have really good conversations with my dad about, um, about more in-depth information about his farming operations while he was giving me farming lessons. It, it gave me the opportunity at the right time as I was having those farming lessons with my father um, to be able to ask the questions. Um, it's, it's kind of you don't know what you don't know. He would tell me that Oh, I've taught you everything, which I knew couldn't possibly be the truth. <laughs> he, he'd been in, he'd been um, farming for 30 years, and his father before him, and so me um, le learning the operation in just uh, a few years, few months. Um, Annie's project gave me the opportunity to to learn a little, but then go back and say, now, Dad, how does this work in in our family's operation, and how do you address this question, and and how do you handle this? So it was a perfect opportunity. Um, unfortunately, my dad passed away earlier this year, and as he was declining, um, we had many conversations about um, me taking over the family farming operation, me continuing the cattle herd. It's, more, it's about more than passing the land on to the next generation. It's about passing that knowledge base and that wealth of information. That's the true legacy, and that is what makes farming here in Iowa um, such an such an untapped wealth is because because of the knowledge and the experience and just the community and and those tried and true things that um, that you can't get it's not um, it's not about how many dollars per acre you're gonna get if you're gonna sell that piece of ground it to me it's it's not about that it's about living the lifestyle and doing what's right and really really being a part of the farming operation.